Hi, and welcome to the Digital Digging YouTube channel. In this video, we're taking a look at the German ground forces which are scheduled to be introduced to War Thunder in the ever-looming patch 1.43. I've covered all of the German AA vehicles in another video, a link to which will appear at the end of this one, and also in the description box below, so we'll move on to the tanks and tank destroyers proper, starting with the Tier 2 Panzer 3J with the 50mm KWK 39L-50 cannon. This one is fun to drive and can hit its maximum speed of 32 miles per hour or 53 kilometers per hour on relatively level ground in around 9 seconds. It has a turret rotation speed of 14 degrees per second and a reload speed of 4.7 seconds. Its battle rating of 2.7 puts it a whole point below the Panzer 3L which, as far as I can see, is pretty much the same tank but with a slightly lower reload time. They're both armed with the 50mm KWK-39 cannon, so there's not much to choose between them. However, given that the Panzer 3L is a solid performer, a very similar tank is a welcome addition to the tier. Next we have the Panzer 4J. This one is a little slower, hitting its maximum speed of 23 miles per hour or 38 kilometers per hour in around 7 seconds on level ground. The turret rotation speed is 6 degrees per second, which is less than half the speed of the Panzer 4F. It has a slightly faster reload rate, however, at 7.4 seconds compared with the 4F, and although you lose a whole ton in weight due to the loss of the side skirts, there's no increase in speed. The hull and turret armour is 10mm thicker than that of the 4F at the rear and the spaced armour for the turret is retained. The tank also retains the 75mm KWK-40 L-48 cannon of its predecessor and has a battle rating of 4.7, which is 3 points lower. On paper they're very close, but it is another solid addition to the line, and it'll be interesting to see how these compare in the field. The premium Panzer Befelschwagen IV is a command vehicle, hence the array of antenna, otherwise it's pretty much identical to the Panzer IV J. The skirts return, but consist of wire mesh instead of sheet metal, which was apparently effective against high explosive projectiles. This is again tier 3, and again has a battle rating of 4.7. I'm afraid I'm not sure of the price of this one. If anyone dipping into the dev server between now and the patch release notices, I'd appreciate it if they could leave it in the comment section below. Next we have the much anticipated Marder 3. This is a tier 2 tank destroyer with a battle rating of 2.7 and which takes 8 seconds to reach its maximum speed of 26 miles per hour or 42 kilometers per hour. The armour is, as you'd expect, fairly piffling with the hull being 50 millimeters at the front and 16 millimeters or below at all other points. This tank destroyer is plainly about delivering damage rather than taking it and can be viewed perhaps more constructively as a highly mobile 76mm Pack 36R cannon with room for a couple of blokes on it. The reload time of the cannon is 9.0 seconds so it would be a wise idea to keep moving between shots. This is the biggest gun in the tier and in fact the biggest in the next tier as well other than the Tiger H1. I think we can expect to see a lot of these charging around the battlefield. We can also look forward to another Stug joining the tank destroyer line, this time in the form of the Stug 3G. This is a tier 3 vehicle with a battle rating of 4.3 and takes around 7 seconds to reach its maximum speed of 24 miles per hour or 40 kilometers per hour. The hull armor is 80 millimeters at the front and 30 millimeters at all other points. It has a reload speed of 7.6 seconds and carries a 75 millimeter Stuck 40 L43 cannon. Well, what's there to say about Stugs? If you love them, then you'll love this one. Though the gun remains the same, the front armour is a full 30mm thicker than that of its predecessor, the Stug 3F. And finally, we have another premium, the captured Russian KV-1 MIT KWK-40. Again, I'm unsure of the price, so if anyone could help out, then please leave a comment below. This is a tier 3 tank with a battle rating of 5.0. It takes around 10 seconds to reach a maximum speed of 25 miles per hour or 41 kilometers per hour and has a turret rotation speed of 12 degrees per second. The gun, a retrofitted 75mm KWK-40 cannon, has a reload time of 7.6 seconds. The armour is pretty impressive with the turret having a thickness of 105mm all round and the hull armour coming in at 75mm at the front and sides and 70mm at the rear. Aside from the Tiger H1, this is the only other heavy tank available at this tier, so if heavies are your thing and you've got the Eagles to spare then you've probably already decided to buy this tank. 
Right, well, that's our lot for the German ground forces. As I said, the AA vehicles were covered in an earlier video, a link to which should appear about now, and it's also in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this, and if you have, then by all means hit the like button. If you'd like to stay up to date with future videos, then please feel free to subscribe. Okay, well, cheerio chaps, and hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.